Renee. And I'm Lana. And this, we're going to be performing Experiment 4.3, Solvent and Solutes. The idea of this experiment is to prove that water does not dissolve everything. The materials we'll be using for this experiment are five glasses, two stirring spoons, and we're going to have two measuring spoons. One is one half teaspoon and the other is one tablespoon. We have paper towels over here and we're going to be using sugar, olive oil, vegetable oil, and table salt. And four of the five glasses are filled three-fourths of the way with water. So let's get started. So we already filled up our water previously. So what we're going to do is take half a teaspoon of sugar and pour it into one of the cups filled with water. And then just stir it in, right? Yeah, stir it in with one of the stirring spoons. I'm going to have to stir for a pretty good amount of time to see if we're going to dissolve it. Yeah. And after stirring for a while, it dissolves, then it just dissolves. It. And if it doesn't, it does not dissolve. It looks like water dissolved the sugar. Yeah, it looks like all the other ones with water too. So that dissolved pretty well. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the next we're going to do is a half teaspoon of vegetable oil. Now we're going to get our stirring spoon. I don't know about that one. This doesn't look like it's going to dissolve them. Yeah. Here, we're going to stir it a little bit more. But as you can see, the water is making bubbles. Yeah, I, I, I don't really like feel the oil is <clears throat> separated from the water. Not yeah. dissolve the oil. As yeah. you can see, the oil is separated from the water in this in the second glass. And of course, we remember in the first glass the water did dissolve. Okay. So we're gonna wipe off our utensils. And Lana is going to pour a half a teaspoon of salt into the third glass of water. Um, see how that does. I feel that dissolved it pretty well. You know. Yeah, that looks like it's dissolving. Yeah. Can hardly tell. But there's salt in there. Yeah. The, the water dissolved in this one. So we're going to wipe off our utensils again. Let's, this, let's use the next spoon on this one. Okay. okay. And now we're going to need to do a half teaspoon of olive oil in the first, fourth cup. Excuse me. I'll get the. Thank you. <coughs> Ooh, that's a little bit extra. Yeah. Let's see what that'll do. Alright. You can really see in this one because it's like different colors. Yeah. Like the
This doesn't seem to be absorbing, as you can see. Yeah. The olive oil stands out from the water. Yeah, it's just rising to the top. It's separate. Yeah, it doesn't even sink down to the bottom. As you can see, the olive oil is just on the top like a layer. <laughs> <laughs> and accidentally put a little bit more olive oil than was needed, but that's all right. All right. So now, in the fifth cup, we will take the vegetable oil and pour a little on the bottom. It seems to be that. And then we will take <coughs> what seems to be a look just it doesn't matter how much olive oil into not that much this let's just do the same a half teaspoon just to do be the same amount okay. as everything else yeah. oops that was a little too much mix are we gonna mix it yes okay i'll mix it for you So, makes it a little bit more. Ooh. It appears that this one has dissolved more than the water in the other glass, than all of the oil in the other glasses of water. As you can see, there are bubbles which might be the oil separating. Yes. So, to conclude, water does not dissolve all, solute, all solutes and solvents. And thank you for coming to watch this experiment. Uh, th yeah, thank you.